Britain has said that they are not very sure about how Russia is going to recruit more soldiers in their army. Last week, President Vladimir Putin signed a decree to increase the number of Russian forces from 1.9 million to approximately 2.04 million. And this has just come in when the Ukrainian war has entered the seventh month. Now, British officials have said that they are quite confused about how Russia is going to do. They also believe that this might be done by way of recruiting volunteers who have never worked in the Russian army and they are new to the Russian military system. So are they going to train volunteers with no background in the army or are they going to come up with some other rule to recruit new army personnel. Britain also said that whichever way Russia recruits army personnel, whether it be new recruitments who are volunteers or they come in by any other way, whether they are ex-army employees or whichever way Russia decides to recruit, it won't make much of a change in the war strategy and it is also not going to help Russia win the war against Ukraine. Russia has lost more than 75,000 army personnel in the war and Britain has said that trained army personnel have died in this war and Russia has lost a huge portion of the army which cannot be replaced in the near future and it will take time because training people and getting them to the field takes up a lot of time, a lot of effort and this is not going to happen anytime soon. British officials expressed their doubt saying that if Russian army men who have been in this service for many years who have had a lot of experience have lost their lives if such experienced army men have lost their lives in this war how can new people who are actually volunteers give an assurance that they will be able to combat the ukrainian troops so recruitment of so many soldiers at one time is not going to help Russia in this fight against Ukraine. On the contrary, it would result in the loss of manpower which will be a huge blow for not just the Russian army but Russia as a country itself. They have also said that Vladimir Putin needs to understand what he is doing and how he is putting his countrymen's life in risk and he needs to stop. If he doesn't stop, it's only a matter of time that Russian people are going to see the worst that they have seen in their lives. So many people, so many Russian soldiers on the front line getting killed by the Ukrainian forces is not something that should happen because many soldiers have died and this plan or this strategy of Vladimir Putin is not going to help Russia in any way. Stay updated with